right, so hello everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. It has been a while, but we're back and we got a good one for you. We're gonna be heading back up the Sawako Forestry Road. It's a beautiful Saturday and, uh, and we're just in for a good time here. So you might notice something different about the truck here. We can no longer call it the green machine. Uh, if you can think of a good name for it, drop it in the comments. We have done a couple extra things to it besides the paint. Uh, we did install some Lincoln lockers. If you know, you know. So we got this panel for Christmas from Grandma. I don't know, I thought it'd be cool. We got our bolts, uh, we got you know our USB chargers, then we got all our switches for all of our lights. Sun and shines in the atmosphere. Just purrs like a kitten. Just purrs like a kitten. Oh, we're gonna chase Grandma out here. Uh, I mean, it was pretty hairy when we came up here last year, so we'll see what uh, what kind of surprises we have in store for us. She just doesn't want to die here, eh? Ignition's off. Just wants to run. <laughs> Wild. All right, let's see what we're melting. Woo, she smells. I don't see anything, though. Uh, maybe those fresh welds you put on there. Beautiful waterfall. at this 18 19 k mark every time we've come through here we've had to winch we've had to pull out the winch not today today we got the lincoln lockers we're gonna cheese through here no problemo I think this is wild ginger. Yeah, that's wild ginger. Wow. 
Nice stuff. was good not really many problems um, got some mud on the truck and have to wash it but uh, we're past this didn't have to break out the winch yet so the link lockers did great we are pressing on and we're gonna hopefully get through this uh, this next wash out here and then hopefully it's smooth sailing from there I could drive through that they made a little walk road here yeah, they did. Look at this. you could drive through that okay. Let's just go see it. You go first. All right. Yeah. Somebody's been walking here. Yeah. And there's deer tracks too. Wow, that's an old bridge. That's like an old rail car, doubled up. Yeah, it's an old rail car, I think. Small one. Look at that. probably been here since 2021 the flood and the no logging company has been up here since then so i don't know if the logging company's waiting and then they're gonna bring this out or what's going on so yeah it looks like it was just parked here parked the, the equipment that came down during the flood they came down from up here they drove this to here but because the river was so high when they crossed with their machines they didn't bother bringing this thing they probably so, just left it here. Oh, somebody's broken somebody the back window. Somebody smashed the back window out. Oh, boy. Uh, they got some, uh, some safety equipment in here, or rescue equipment. That's too bad. They didn't leave the keys in it, did they? No. In the visor? I already checked. Uh, we could drive it out for them. Yeah, get some money. Does the light come on? No. No, that's dead. No power, eh? Enough to... It's too bad we could have driven it out for them. for the Jeep. He did it in two-wheel drive. He did it in two-wheel drive. Oh, he did. Get it. <laughs> oh. 
All right, so we made it up to this point here. This is, uh, well, to us, this is the last washout before the road's pretty good all the way. Um, we're not gonna bother going through here. We're gonna turn around just for time's sake. It is a beautiful Saturday. We do wanna get home, relax for a bit. I gotta take my wife out to dinner tonight. So we might as well start heading back and, uh, and we'll save that for next time. Again, I can't stay to the left there because there's just too much stuff. I gotta go to the right here. Keep running, this is looking real bad. <laughs> burns from the steering wheel like that and there when the steering wheel shot on me like <laughs> oh that's gonna hurt all right so we just made it back through that uh that washout you saw in the footage the steering wheel looked like it was almost just about to spin right off the column now a little 4x4 in 101 when you're 4 by 4 well really when you're doing anything never lock your thumbs in okay always have them out like that just in case something like this happens and the steering wheel, like the, the wheel catches something and it just jerks it, your thumbs don't get ripped off. So in that situation, it was really good. My hands were like this. I was able just to let go. I mean, I did get a little burn, but I, I'd rather have a burn than no thumbs. Hello? Oh boy, are they walking down? I don't know, is somebody in there? Just go check. The blinkers are on. Yeah. Hello? Passing the doors open. Not right off here. Well, at least they didn't roll. Airbags are all off though. All of them? Yeah. Really hit Except that tree. Except for the back one. Oh, uh, any blood in there? I don't see any blood, no. No, looks like he's okay. Okay, well let's uh, start going down. Okay. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Take a look here. Oh, that's a
Some white helmet here. It's from some, uh, sometime else. I wonder how long ago it happened. Is the motor still hot? Check the hood. Somebody else is coming. Okay, so we got a little update on the highway for those who are interested in the highway. Swaco Creek is a mess. Um, we got, they're, they're rebuilding this side of the bridge. Uh, they just finished rebuilding the southbound lanes. Now they're rebuilding the northbound lanes. Uh, they got traffic going through a one lane there. And then on top of that, you got the pipeline work here. It's getting nuts, it's chaotic, lots going on. If you're driving the highway, keep your eyes peeled because it's, uh, it's confusing.